All right, y'all, before we dive into this video, I do want to tell you about one new thing I got going on. I joined Patreon. If you're not familiar with Patreon, you don't know what that is, like I didn't recently, it's another way to interact with the folks who follow this channel. Um, there's paid tiers, you can throw a kick in a couple of bucks, and there's some content behind the scenes stuff, some other things that I just don't really cover on the YouTube channel because it just wouldn't necessarily make for good YouTube videos but it's funny or interesting and hopefully kind of cool. I've got another level where you can get a t-shirt. I've got actual swag, which I'm kind of happy about. I think that's kind of neat. I've got merch for the first time. And there's also a part of it where you can review, you can send in a clip, a video or an audio clip, and I'll review your playing and, and hopefully give you some tips and kind of do like a little quick mini lesson. So that's the gist. I'll post a link down below. Check it out if you're so inclined. If not, that's cool. All right, back to work. What's up, y'all? That's a tune called Tommy Peoples. Well, it's one of the tunes called Tommy Peoples. He had a fair few of them. And I think this is the first one that I've ever played before. Uh, first Tommy Peoples tune that I've ever played. But it's one I've been playing with my band lately. And I'm gonna be doing the next couple of videos, next three videos, I suppose, in sequence. So it'll be a whole set of tunes. Uh, maybe a month or so ago, I posted a couple of slip jig videos and I did them back to back and, and chained them together and kind of showed how they would work as a set. And it seemed like you guys were, were digging that. So this is gonna be a series of three videos, three reels. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys are in need of a few reels. These are some good ones. Uh, we're gonna start with this one first of all, and it's nice because it's short, it's a, it's a short reel. So hopefully it'll be easy one to pick up. So here's your basic melody. It's the first half, we'll run that again. first octave, which hopefully is kind of handy. The second half starts the same way, but the end is just a little bit different. Run that again as well. And put it all together. And then you get the whole thing, because again, it's a short reel, so it's shorter amount of time, shorter amount of notes, lesser amount of notes, lesser amount of notes. Yeah, so here's the whole thing. That's the whole A part, and that would repeat. It does go A, A, B, B. But then we can carry on to the B part, which goes like so. First half, I'll run that again. And just like the A part, the B part starts the same way, and it's just the ending that's a little bit different. So it's just that kind of walk down bit at the end. So I'll, I'll just do that whole section again so you get it. And again, chaining the whole B part all the way together. Hopefully you already picked up on some of those long notes and are, are starting to think through where you might want to put some ornaments, but that's a good place to start. So on the A part, basic melody just as a refresher. So you're sitting on that G for a second. That's what I usually do is just do a, a short roll on it. Good slide into it as well. And then I'll usually cut those, those um, arpeggio notes, the higher notes. cutting on a B there, or keeping it nice and simple there works. Then you're getting into the kind of the fun tricky bit. So in this case, we're going, you've got three notes on a bottom D, which to my ear always screams cran. Now, if you're not playing the cran yet, if you haven't, if you're not feeling real comfortable with that, that's okay. I'll show you a couple other options, but here's how I would do it. 
cutting the A first. That's fairly standard. So again, just refresher. And then I'll cut those other notes walking up the scale as we get around to the G. Now, if you're not doing the crayon, here's what we can do. Kind of changing the melody a little bit, throwing in that uh, extra E. That works, and it kind of has a similar effect. It's a, a much simpler effect, but it also works. You know, I think that's I think that's a good choice. So if you're not really able to just rip through some of those crayons, that's another way to go. So then to finish the A part, I like throwing the triplet in there, and that's the one I've demonstrated probably ad nauseum. And that's the one where you kind of have to get fairly quick if you want that cool popping sound as you're going from B to a C natural by way of a G. So that's this again. As you're going from the B to the C, I kind of like to imagine does these fingers come down and pop this finger off. But not before you hear just a, a, uh, just a real fraction of a second of that G. Now to finish the phrase, you've got yeah, you got three or four G's in a row. I'll tend to do a triple roll on that. Could just do a simple cut. That works also. A slide into a triple roll. And so that's just, in case you're not familiar with that one, those three grace notes. It's two cuts and then a tap. So don't worry if that's out of your wheelhouse right now. That's okay, work it in if you feel like it. Otherwise, a simple cut will work. Nothing wrong with that at all. Now, B part jumps up high. And as I've mentioned before, when you get into the higher octave, you might want to back off on the quantity of ornaments that you do, because you do run a, a, a significantly higher risk of breaking some of those notes. So don't be afraid to back off, but I'll just do short rolls on those first two. And I really don't do anything else you could. You could do stuff like that. To me, that feels a bit much, but it's up to you. And I will cut those, just those, those stronger accents. You could slide it. That's that, the cutting on that high B, that's one of those kind of danger zones where you run the risk of breaking that note. If your whistle works well and if you're comfortable with it, try it, see how it works. Otherwise, a slide is probably a safer option. Now, as I'm coming down that little walk down thing, um, I'll pop that A. And as you land on the A, what, what I like to think of it is, is popping that B finger off. That's how I do it, but that's one that does have to be fairly quick. This is a nice subtle ornament. And then sliding the B into a triple roll on the G, same way as we finished the, the A part, same kind of thing. So I hope you guys dig this tune, and I hope you guys dig the ones that are gonna follow it, because I'm gonna do that whole set. Uh, if you're interested, check out my Patreon thing. Um, got some of that merch and, and some of the behind the scenes stuff, including hopefully next time we play this gig, I'm gonna try and get a good video of this set of tunes, because we tend to start our show with it. So be kind of a cool approach to it, I hope. Check it out, let me know. Otherwise, see you all in the next one. Cheers.